what's going on guys and girls, it's Signature here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up your Steam CMD free Gmod server. To start off with, you want to go into your computer and access any hard drive. For this, I'm going to be going on my A hard drive, which is customized by me. You can go into the hard drive settings and change the hard drive letter to whatever you want, I just chose A. So anyway, um, by default, some people might choose the C drive because that's always default. But for this, I'm going to go to A drive. Once you're here, you want to create a new folder and just call it Gmod. Just go and set aside the all in caps. Be easier. Refresh. There we go. Okay. Open up the Gmod folder and just leave that for a second. Next, you want to come to the internet. Open up a new tab. Sorry. And you want to go to Steam CMD. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you're here, you want to download Steam CMD for Windows or whatever operating system you have. Mine's Windows. Download Steam CMD for Windows, click on the link and it will open up in WinRAR. I'll leave the link of all WinRAR as well. So once that's opened, you can now minimize the browser, close that. You can run the steam cmd.exe. So I'll try and go as slow as possible. And it will start doing some updates. Once the update is done, simply type in login space anonymous, which is A N O N Y M O U S anonymous. Connecting anonymously to Steam Public. Now this will let us download the server onto our PC. Okay, so once that's all done, uh, just quickly, if it fails to log in anonymously, just type the uh, login with your Steam account. So mine will be login dark underscore souls 2015. Yours might be different. Well, it will be different. Anyway, once you've done that, you want to type in force underscore install underscore directory or dir and then the directory of where you've put your new folder so mine will be a colon backslash gmod yours might be c colon backslash gmod if you've done it on the c drive so if we put that there for a second sorry two screens here, amazing. So once you've typed in that, just press enter and that's where all the stuff will go. So next you want to type in app underscore, sorry, underscore update then 4020 which is the ID for Gary's mod. So app, app underscore update 4020 which is the ID for Gary's mod. Press enter and that will start updating Gary's mod. As you can already see, Steam Apps has already popped up in the Gary's Mod folder. And we're going to leave that to update. I'll come back to you guys once it's finished. Okay, so Steam is finally updating itself. And as you can see, everything is in there. So SRCGS, Steam Apps, Source Engine, Source, yeah, Source Engine, Platform, Gary's Mod, bin. So once you've done that, you need to validate it. So go app underscore update 4020 so it's valid it's v a l i d a t e enter and that's going to revalidate the update so i'll be back again once it's finished okay so it's validated the update and everything is fully installed and pretty much ready to go in the future you're going to need to update your server every now and then which the server is now your pc on your hard drive uh, to do this, simply type in force install directory and then your directory. So mine was a colon backslash gmod. Yours might be c colon backslash gmod. And then just type in app underscore update 4020 and then validate. Okay, so for now we can just minimize that. I don't think we're going to need to come back to it again, as far as I remember. Come into the gmod bit and go. File, new, uh, where is it gone? I've lost it. 
text document. There we go, and call it start.bat. Once you've got your start.bat, you want to edit it. I'm going to use Notepad. And then I'm going to get some code. I'll put this in the description below. You simply copy and paste the code into there. The yeah, game is called Gary's Mod and the map is GM Constructs. You can change the map when the game, like, every time you restart the server, the map will, con um, by default, start with whatever is here. This is GM Construct. You can change this to whatever you want. Simple. Go File, Save As, easiest way to do it, and just call it start.bat and make sure it's a .bat file. Where is the batch? There it is, batch file. Save it and close. You can get rid of the text document now. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to go into Gary's mod, then server.config, wherever it's gone, where have you gone? Config, sorry. Then server.config. Edit with Notepad or whatever you're using. Then you want to paste in this code, again I'll leave it in the description below. And you can just edit whatever you want. So your host name here, so let's just call it, I don't know, tutorial gmod server. Okay, you your archon password, your, your admin password, so let's just call it Symmetry, that'll do, and password. This password is for those of you who want to make your server private and for your friends only. So, for instance, let's just go Symmetry 2015. Okay, so that's all done. Now, we'll go back to this bit and open up your start. Dot bat file. Just initializing everything. Oh yeah, allow access. If you can't, if it doesn't allow you to allow access, then you can turn off your firewall. Might help. There you go. It's all working up there. 66 frames per second. Zero out of 16 on map. So you can have up to 16 different maps. No, 16 different people. Sorry, on the server and the server is on Jim Constructs. Okay, uh, I recommend opening up a notepad or something and making note of the port. So the port is 27015. Okay, so next what you want to do, we can just minimize that, minimize that, is run cmd and type in ipconfig. When you're here, you want to make note of the gateway, so 192.168.0.1, that's mine. So this is where it's going to start getting a bit tricky. This is what's going to make your go Gary's mod server go online. So you want to go to the internet and you want to type in your gateway into the internet. So 192.168.0.1. This will bring you to your logging screen for your internet router. You can find out the details logging under your router or the side of it. I'm with Virgin Media. My password is me. Okay. Once you're here, oh, sorry, that wrong. Yes, yes, remember. Okay, now when you're in here, you want to try and find where your port forwarding is. Mine is in advanced settings down here a bit and it's port forwarding right when you're in here you want to add the name so gmod server will do okay so once you're on here you need to start port and the end port and your IP address so let's go into here you need your IPv4 address mine's 192.168.0.14 so you're just going to change that to 14 Then in the port bit, you just need to put 27015, which is what we made note of earlier. You just need to use 27015 there. 
Yeah, okay, so uh, you need to start putting in port. That was my bad, sorry. Add rule. Enable, enable, enable. Apply. Yes, I'm sure I want to make changes. And that's now done. So there we go. That's your Gmod server up and running. Port forwarding has completed. Okay, so once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. So let's just restart the server. Start. Yeah, okay. Blah, blah, blah. All started, all ready to go. Now, I haven't opened up Gmod in quite a while quite a while, quite a while. So just bear with me while I quickly make it into a window version. Back in a second. Okay, so here's the guys mod, go find multiplayer game, local network, sandbox, and there is the server. And it's got a padlock on it because it's got password protection. So it's just join server, your password, century twenty fifteen, and it will allow you to get into the server. You can always take off the password by um, hang on a second. Going into here, uh, Garry's mod, CFG, edit in server.config, and extract in SV underscore password. That simple as one, two, three. So for people who want to have their friends join them, make note of that address there, 192.168.014. So for those of you who want oh god. Who want to get their friends to join their server, go to legacy browser favorites. Uh where is it? Add a server. IP address, so 192.1. Six eight zero dot fourteen colon two seven zero one five. And this is just your favourites, and it's the tutorial Gmod server. And then you can connect with your favourites, wherever it is. There you go, sandbox. There it is, Gmod server. Two thousand fifteen, and then you can just join the server. And everything should be fine from there. Thank you for watching, guys. I really do hope this helped you out a lot. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.